In this video, I'm going to be doing a bit of a different take on the GTX 560 Ti. So I know I included a lot of games with tessellation as part of the overall uh, visual package that they include, including Hawks 2 as well as Metro 2033. When I did my full 560 Ti as well as tessellation information video review on my NCIX Com channel, which you should check out. But I wanted to take a slightly different approach and I wanted to test a couple of the cards. So I have the 560 Ti here, I have the 460 Hawk, which I'm going to run at stock 460 speeds just so that we have a more clear understanding of where the Ti falls in place with the original 460, or the 560 Ti with the 460. I included the 570 GTX from NVIDIA as well, just to give us a little bit of perspective for how a higher end NVIDIA card will perform with heavy tessellation, or rather extreme tessellation enabled in heaven. I also am using 4X anti-aliasing and 8X anisotropic filtering. And then I also threw in some competition from the red camp. So I have the uh, Radeon 6950 and then I also have a Radeon 6870. So these are both positioned um, well close to uh, a little under and then within spitting distance of the pricing of the GTX 560 Ti. So let's see how these cards compare in an extreme tessellation benchmark. So for my heavy tessellation test, I actually discovered that while the GTX 560 Ti performs about where you'd expect in between the GTX 460 and the GTX 570, that is to say that it's a little bit closer to the 570 than it is to the 460, it actually outperforms both of the ATI Radeon, uh, rather, excuse me, AMD Radeon cards in my testing. So it outperforms the 6870 as well as the 6950 in the heavily tessellated version of the Heaven benchmark. So thanks for checking out my video and uh, don't forget you can also see my real game tessellation benchmarks in my NCIX Com video on my other channel. Don't forget to subscribe not only to Linus Tech Tips but also to NCIX Com to see all of the unboxings, reviews and other computer videos that I do.